API gateways have become very common these days. If you ask somebody who is working on microservices architecture with multiple consumers and multiple services which are consuming of these microservice ecosystem, then there would definitely be an API gateway using which the consumers interact with their systems. Few months ago, I had made a video on what is API gateway with an imaginary Swiggy architecture diagram and we discussed what are the different advantages of API gateways and why people use API gateways. Also, you would have seen different videos on microservices with respect to one particular API gateway called Zool, which was created by Netflix. And we use the Spring Cloud Zool to create an API gateway for our microservice architecture. However, recently Spring has created something called Spring Cloud Gateway because Zool 1.0 did not support reactive programming and Spring has completely gone away from using Zool. So they have created their own API gateway library, which is called Spring Cloud Gateway. It's been a while since I got my hands dirty with respect to API gateways and microservices implementation. In this video, we are going to use Spring Cloud Gateway along with Hystrix by integrating different microservices with the Spring Cloud Gateway service. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Before getting into the hands-on part, let's understand what is the architectural diagram which we are going to implement right now. I'm going to use the Rapid API marketplace to leverage different services from the marketplace. So I'm going to use something called countries service which is going to return me list of countries and also I'm going to use something called as a joke service. Now I'm not going to write anything for these particular services. Imagine that these are different services which are available in different platform. Imagine we own it. So for the implementation of a Spring Cloud Gateway, you don't have to implement the country service and the joke service. So I'm going to show you how you can create a API Gateway using Spring Cloud Gateway. And I'm going to use existing services and I'm going to redirect my request to those services. So I'm not going to write completely new code for the country service and joke service. Instead, I'm going to leverage these two services, which is provided by the rapid API and I'm going to integrate that with my gateway service. So basically, if somebody hits my gateway service, that is going to call the country service and the joke service and the guy who is calling my gateway service won't even know that there are different services underneath. And that's what Spring Cloud Gateway abstracts. So Spring Cloud Gateway abstracts the implementation of a microservice, which we have within our system and using the gateway you can leverage the gateway for routing traffic to different service based on the type of request we hit the gateway with additionally i'm going to use the hystrix dashboard in order to give some high level overview of how my requests are going to different service and how can i monitor or circuit break my request from the gateway to different services so if i integrate my hystrix dashboard with the gateway service i'll be able to see different service calls which are happening from the gateway service and I can monitor them using the Hystrix dashboard. So if you don't know what is Hystrix, do take a look at my video on what is Hystrix. So Hystrix in brief is a circuit breaker design pattern implementation from Netflix and Spring has created a wrapper again, a library around Netflix Hystrix and they call it Spring Cloud Hystrix or Spring Cloud Circuit Breaker. So we're going to use the Hystrix implementation for circuit breakers and use it in the gateway service. That way, if you're using a production app and if you want to make sure the gateway doesn't cascade the error, which the joke service is giving back to this gateway, then you can control that using Hystrix. Using the Hystrix dashboard, we are going to see what is the level of flow within these microservices at a high level. This is the complete architecture. So we are going to create two different services. One is the gateway service the other one is the hystrix dashboard we are going to plug the gateway service onto the hystrix dashboard so now let's get on to the creation of the project part as usual i'm in the start.spring.io i'm going to use the spring boot 2.1.9 which is the latest version and let me use my group id com tech primers and we are going to call this as gateway let's call this as spring cloud gateway 
So I'm calling this a Spring Cloud Gateway Service. So what are the different dependencies which I require? I don't need any Spring MVC dependency because I'm not going to expose any endpoint as such inside the Gateway Service. However, I need the actuator. Using the actuator, I want to stream my Hystrix endpoint from the Spring Boot application to the dashboard. So I need Hystrix as well. So I'm going to add two dependencies. One is Hystrix, one is actuator. And of course, the main part, which is the Spring Cloud Gateway. So I have three dependencies, the Gateway, the Hystrix and the actuator. So let's create this particular project. I'll just save this. Also, the second one is the Hystrix part. So I need to create another Spring Boot application, but I'll call it as Hystrix dashboard. I'm using the same version of uh, Spring Boot. However, I don't need any of these. I instead, I need the Hystrix dashboard. So I'm going to say Hystrix dashboard. So I have only the Hystrix dashboard and nothing else. So let me generate this project as well. So there are two projects. One is the Hystrix dashboard. The other one is the gateway service. Let me quickly unzip and open this in my IntelliJ idea. So I am unzipping both the projects so that we can open them. So first let me go to the Spring Cloud Gateway Service and I'll open it in IntelliJ. It's just waiting for the IDE to load the POM. Let's do that. So the project is loaded now. I think we can go inside. So by default uh, there will be only one class file which will be the main class. Apart from that there is nothing here in this particular project. Let me go to the POM XML. You can see three different uh, dependencies. The first one is the actuator. The second one is the Spring Cloud Starter Gateway. And the last one is the Netflix Hystrix. So we need to enable different configurations. In order to do that, I'm going to create a gateway configuration. So gateway configuration is one way of adding some routing information to your service. For example, here, I need to route my traffic to the country service and also I need to route my traffic to joke service. So I need to add some routing information present inside the gateway service and that's what we are going to add in the gateway configuration. So there is one more way of doing that. If you go to the Spring Cloud Gateway documentation, there is another way where you can have YAML configuration and using the YAML configuration, whatever I'm going to show using the Java code can be converted. So if you don't want to write more java code and if you're okay with yaml based configurations to control these urls then you are good to go and do that as well and spring provides different gateway filters which you can use to add that in the configuration itself the other way is the way which i'm going to use so if you go to the spring cloud guides there are different examples present there so i'm going to use the example present inside the spring cloud guide so i'll select this particular snippet which i'm copying so this is basically going to route the get url inside the http bin org so if you look at it i have this url called http bin org and it has some url called get so this is the url and this is the response which we are going to see once we route traffic so first i want to check whether my service works right and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to add this like a hello world example and then later i will append my code to route to countries and the joke servers so i'm going to add the add configuration to make sure spring boot reads it during the startup time also i'm going to enable the hystrix option so that my hystrix actuator stream is going to stream some data for the dashboard let's import all the necessary imports done so right now i'm just going to start it by default i'm not going to add anything fancy here i'm just going to start my main class this is going to by default start my server in 8080 port and there is an endpoint called get and the same get gets added to this particular uri and gets routed notice that you cannot create any specific endpoint yourself unless or until you create a rest controller so if you create a new rest controller you can enable a new rest endpoint but if you are adding a routing information inside your gateway service you can have an existing url only for example this particular history bin has the slash get only the server is up let's go to the uh, url 
now let's go to localhost 8080 this will return an error page because nothing is there in the root then get page should now redirect me to the http bin page see that it redirected me to the http bin page and also it added some new header which is hello and world and that's what we added here so there are filters using which you can append some additional filters over the request so if you look at this diagram if somebody is calling your gateway service you can manipulate and add stuff when you're sending it back to your internal service that way you can have authentication and filters added from the gateway service which can be used by the country service to validate and that's what we are going to use in the in case of the rapid api integrations for example we need to integrate now countries and the joke service now that we know um, the hello world program works so our gateway service is good to retrieve new code now i'm going to add the country service implementation so for, in order to use uh, api from the countries go to rest countries v1 so this is one api provided by the rapid api and i'm using a endpoint called get all countries and this particular get all countries is going to return me all the country information present in the world so if i click on the sample response if you see that there are 250 countries with their corresponding information so that's what comes here if i click on the code snippet it shows me two different headers so if you notice that this is the api key or the username and password which is encrypted or basically the api key so that the backend service of the rapid api can validate that okay uh, it is tech primers who is accessing this particular api and we need to add these two information in this particular routing rule so let's add new api i'm going to ignore the existing ones and i'm going to add some new routing information so if you ask me what is this particular being this is nothing but route locator builder and the configuration which is similar to the yaml configuration which i mentioned underneath what spring does is convert spring converts this into an implementation detail and works on these routing information that's it so i need to create a new route i'm going to use the same variable p and what is the path which i have if you look at it this path is not the path which we give this is the path which is present inside this particular api if you see the path which is present in this api is all so all is my path so my path will be slash all that's the path which i'm going to access dot filter so we need to add some headers like i said we need to add some headers right i'm going to add the header f dot add header re request header and what is the name of the request header we can copy that from this particular rapid api basically these two are the ones right i'll copy paste the same instead of colon it will be semi comma and also there is one more right so i'll add one more request header with the key so first is the host name the next one is the key So that's it these are the two different api headers which we need to pass and finally we need to pass the uri so uri is basically the url which we need to hit so if i go to this get till the slash i can give this uri so uri is basically the host name basically the root url and we should be good now let me restart the server that way i can check if the country service is good if the country service is returning data then i'll integrate the joke service so joke service is another um, api which you can search in the rapid api and you can use it as well so let's check if the server is up and let's validate if the country service is up and then we'll move to joke service so the url endpoint is slash all so the moment i hit all immediately it's returning me different country information and looks like our gateway is working so the gateway is now redirecting our information to the country service let's integrate joke service and then we will look at what is hystrix doing here let me go to the joke service so if you look at the joke service i there is something called get random joke right uh, you you don't have to use the same service for your example you can explore different apis inside rapid api and then pick one and then try it out i'm just using whatever i just got in the recommendation i just hit the uh, test endpoint and it is returning me some joke 
do you want a brief explanation of what an acronym is in a nutshell it's a oak tree so whatever some i don't know good joke or bad joke some joke comes right so um if you look at it the host name alone changes here apart from that the key will be the same and also the api will be different so in this case the api is v1 joke so i need to copy paste the same i can copy paste in fact because my value is all same let me minimize this so in the countries we had all here we have v1 joke also the host name changes because it's going to return it's going to hit a different server and that's what rapid api wants right they wanted us to stamp the host so i'm stamping it and my uri also changes because my uri is different from my joke servers so i pasted it let me restart so most of you might be having this question right so why am i hard coding urls here so this in this video i'm just explaining you what is spring cloud gateway and we are going to see the implementation and we are seeing the implementation right if you want to use within a microservices ecosystem you can plug this with the service discovery framework so basically you can use spring cloud gateway and service discovery to explore your services within your ecosystem you don't have to hard code anything directly inside the spring cloud gateway but in this example i am showing you with a hard coded url to show you how spring cloud gateway is helpful for you to route traffic so the server is up let me go and hit the endpoint called v1 joke right that's the new endpoint which we have the moment i hit v1 joke yeah i got a new joke how do locomotives know where they are going lots of training i don't know if <laughs> they are really funny but uh, at least it returns some response back what do you call an elephant that doesn't matter and irrelevant yeah makes sense now i feel it's a joke right so cool so our uh, country service and the joke service are working and we are using it from the gateway service now we need to check that with hystrix dashboard before that we need to check if the gateway service is having a hystrix stream endpoint which this guy can consume so there is this actuator which we enabled right the moment you enable the actuator there will be a actuator slash hystrix dot stream which gets enabled the moment you enable hystrix so looks like we have not enabled hystrix right let's go to um yeah so we have not added any configuration detail right let's go to so we have the enable hystrix option present here however we do not have any configuration information for enabling hystrix so let's add that application.yaml so I have my Hystrix configuration here. Basically what I'm doing is I'm enabling the Hystrix.stream endpoint from the actuator, right? So that's what I'm enabling here. The next one is the configuration information on how long can I wait before I time out. For example, if I enable my Hystrix on a particular service, for example, country service, if the country service takes more than five seconds, then I should fail. By default, Hystrix uses one second as a timeout and our country service takes more than one second that's why i have changed it to five seconds so that we can get a genuine successful message later what i will do is i'll try to integrate with a uh, what do you call erroneous service or i will make a new service call which doesn't exist and then we'll see how Hystrix works there right so let's go and now restart the server the moment i restart i should see the hystrix.stream getting streaming some information so let's wait for the server to be up so the server is up now let me go to the same url and this should now return me some data see it's it's just streaming some information so that we can plug this url in our dashboard right let me stop this now i need to create this dashboard right i already created the spring boot project and we just need to open it i'll just open it in intellij notice that it is already open so quickly um i need to change the port because i already have a web server running in 8080 right so i'll change this as 8081 also if you go to the spring boot uh, server i just need to do one thing enable hystrix dashboard 
need to enable the Hystrix dashboard on this particular application that's it I'm not going to do anything else with it I just want a dashboard and in the dashboard I'm going to plug my stream so that's it I'm not doing anything else here I just changed my port and I have added a at Hystrix dashboard because in the POM XML if you see it's a Spring Boot project with a Spring Cloud starter Netflix Hystrix dashboard that's it it's a very lightweight uh, process which will host a UI now the UI will be accessible in local 81 slash Hystrix so let's go and access it so this is the Hystrix dashboard uh, if you look at it there's nothing much here we just need to give the URL of the stream so this is basically a dashboard which can connect to any service stream or Hystrix stream so it's not necessary for you to host this but you can have a central Hystrix dashboard and using the Hystrix dashboard you can plug in different gateway services or different Hystrix streams which you have in your firm or project or whatever now I'm going to use my 8080's history stream right so 8080 port had an actuator history stream now copy this and I'll paste it here right now if you look at it I did not have any history configuration so it will not show anything right now but I'm going to add them now and then I'm going to see them how it works so let's go to our code Where is the code this is the code right yeah so the gateway configuration did not have any history configuration right I already had my request headers right Additional to the request headers, what if I add my filter for Hystrix? So I'm going to add that. Let me move this. I'm going to add a Hystrix filter. Here I'm going to say use my name. I'm not going to add anything else. Right now I'll add a name for this. Right? I'll add the name for this as countries service. Service same way I'm going to add one more configuration here for my joke service it's Hystrix right I'll add the config name as notice that I'm just giving the name I'm not having any fallback method or a URL right now I'm just adding these so that I can see them in the dashboard that's it I will restart this let the server get started meanwhile what I will do is I will just get this URL out so that we can see a better view of how Hystrix is loading I think this should be better now if the server is up we can do something let's see if the server is up yeah the server is up let's hit the local host 8080 and we had an all so this is nothing but the country service now the moment I hit the country service I should be able to get some country service information so let me refresh it once because because the stream was down basically the country's service wouldn't have reached the history Hystrix so look at that uh, we got the country service in the Hystrix dashboard however there is a failure because the gateway timeout got reached so looks like our country service reached our timeout now let's check if the joke service works now if I hit the joke service immediately my joke service got picked up and if you look at it joke service returned within that five seconds it says I'm sorry uh, hi dad I'm I hi sorry I'm dad whatever okay it's a joke <laughs> fine now the moment I hit on these joke service again and again you should be able to see the hysterix move there see that the Hystrix um, dashboard shows that there are more requests coming for the joke service now the moment I hit on the country service this should move as well right see now the country service returned within five seconds so it is successful now if I hit again I don't know if it is returning going to be successful yeah it is successful so see that these are all going sometimes it is failing so country service failed so it shows red so but however there is an error message because we do not have a fallback URI and notice that here we added only the configuration for the name but we did not have any fallback URL so if you look at the spring guide the spring guide gives you one more example where you can have a fallback example like this and you can have a request mapping so you can add a request mapping with a fallback saying what is the fallback and you can configure that fallback here so I'm going to use the same fallback 
method let's try that so in the configuration i'm going to add the fallback so i'm going to say this is called as joke fallback because what if joke servers fail and i'm going to add one more configuration for my country service what if the country service fail and these both configurations needs to be added into a separate controller so i'm going to create a gateway controller and let's add some request request mapping and this is going to be called as countries callback countries api is down is taking too long to respond or is down please try again data so this makes sense right you don't have to fail your request instead you can have a message so this should suffice i guess so we have two endpoints one is the country's fallback and the next one is the joke fallback so we have plugged this into the histrix configuration let me format this and let's start the restart the server now instead of looking at this particular white label error we should be able to look at the custom message which we have added because we have added a fallback if let's say we want to fall back to a different service you can do that as well so what if country is down you want to hit something else you can definitely hit it the implementation for that should be written in the fallback which we added here here so the server is up let's try the hitting the countries now the response is saying response took longer than configured timeout the other mistake i have done is the naming convention it's basically countries fallback i had a countries callback instead of a fallback yeah now it should be fine let me start the server So the server is up let me go back this should fail this time but still it's returning within that threshold yeah so the fallback has got reached so if you notice here now it's sending me a message saying country's api is taking too long to respond or is down please try again later so this is how you can get the fallback if you see it's again and again adding going to the fallback because it failed now it was successful now if i do the joke it will directly go to the joke service so this is how you can use the spring cloud gateway with hystrix uh, so i'll just summarize what we did here so we created a gateway service this is the architecture diagram gateway service is the one which is going to talk to two different servers country service and the joke service and using the hystrix dashboard we are going to monitor the flow of the traffic to these two servers the country servers and the joke servers are a third party api so we can directly integrate that into the gateway service we are not going to use discovery service or anything because it's out of our control so we have to hard code the uri inside our gateway service in order to do that there are two ways of doing it one way is using configurations where you have application.yaml and you can hard code the yaml configuration on what is the routing logic or you can leverage the java way of configuration where you can have the route locator builder and inside the route locator builder you can have your routes configured for example we have the route for countries and joke service as well here and based on this particular endpoint the traffic will be routed to this particular uri which we have configured here we can add hystrix directly onto this particular routing logic by adding the hystrix on the filters also we can add the request headers that's how we are passing the header information and the api key information which the uh, rapid api requires in order to monitor this gateway service we can use the hystrix dashboard and that's what we have configured here we are leveraging the hystrix dashboard to monitor the flow of traffic between these services and this will come only when you configure it using the filter here and that's what we have done here 
so as always this particular example is available in the github repository you can check out the code from github and then compare it with what you have done if you would like to make me more videos on spring cloud gateway do let me know what are the use cases i'll definitely try if it is worth a shot as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much